In the world of game fowl breeding, every bird carries not one, but two stories. The first story is written boldly for all to see. It's in the shimmer of the hackles under morning light, in the perfect sweep of a tail, in the proud way a rooster holds his head, as if daring the world to challenge him. This is the story that captivates. The phenotype, the surface beauty, the visible traits, the things that make us stop and say, that's a fine-looking bird. But beauty can be a clever mask. Because there's another story, one, that runs deeper than feathers and form. This story is hidden in the blood, a silent code passed from parent to chick, and from that chick to the next generation. This is the genotype, the blueprint of a bird's true potential. It carries the strength of its ancestors, the courage in the pit, the heart that doesn't quit. And it can also carry weaknesses you'll never see until it's too late. Here's the truth many breeders learn the hard way. You can lose a great bloodline in just a few seasons if you breed only for what pleases the eye. A rooster that looks like a champion might be nothing more than a handsome shadow of the warriors in his lineage. And once those hidden strengths are bred out, no amount of beauty will bring them back. Today, we're going beyond the cord. We'll explore how phenotype can mislead, how genotype can save or destroy a legacy, and why the breeders who understand both are the ones who write their names in history. Because in gamefowl breeding, the feathers tell a story, but the blood tells the truth. Let's break it down. Phenotype is what you can see with your eyes. It's the color that catches the sunlight, the comb type that gives it character, the body shape and station that make it look ready for the pit. It's the texture of its feathers, smooth or stiff. Even the way it walks, stands, or squares off when another rooster challenges it. These are the traits that make a bird visually striking, the things that make us say, that's a fine specimen. But here's the catch. Looks can deceive, genotype is what you can't see. It's the actual genetic code, the hidden instructions written in its DNA, passed down from its ancestors. This code is what truly decides what traits it will pass on to its offspring. It determines not only how a bird might perform, but whether it can consistently produce future generations with those same qualities. Think of it this way. Phenotype is the cover of a book, beautiful, attention-grabbing, and sometimes misleading. Genotype is the story inside, the truth, the substance, the part that matters if you want the story to live on for generations. A breeder who chooses based only on phenotype is judging by the cover and risking the entire story. A breeder who understands genotype is preserving the plot, making sure every chapter builds on the last. Two roosters can look almost identical. Same height, same lemon hackle color, same confident stance. At first glance, you'd swear they were cut from the same cloth. But here's where many breeders get blindsided. Breed them, and the results can be worlds apart. Take this example. A flawless-looking lemon cross, perfect body, shining feathers, explosive in the pit, might catch your eye as a breeder's dream. But hidden deep in its blood, it could be carrying a recessive weakness, inherited from a single ancestor generations ago. You won't see it in him, but you will see it in his offspring, in the form of poor cutters, slow reflexes, or inconsistent size that on the other hand, a plain-looking rooster with a modest comb and average station might never turn heads on. The cord. But if his genotype is perfectly balanced, strong foundation blood, proven lines, no hidden weaknesses, he could produce champions year after year, no matter what hen you match him with. Looks can fool you. Blood doesn't lie. Genotype is like a building's blueprint. You can repaint the walls, change the furniture, add new decorations, but the structure underneath stays the same. And in Gamefowl, that structure, that genetic blueprint, decides everything when you truly know the history of a bloodline. You gain something powerful. You can predict performance, knowing if a bird will likely cut fast, break high, or stay on the ground and drive. You can maintain a fighting style, keeping that signature snap, timing, or game as your line is known for. You can avoid unwanted traits, the crooked beak, the sluggish movement, 
the poor cutter that might hide in the blood until the wrong mating brings it to the surface. And most importantly, you can produce consistency for generations so that your birds don't just win today, but continue to win 10, 20, even 30 years from now. This is why the great breeders guard their breeding records like treasure, because that's exactly what they are. A true breeder knows feathers fade, champions grow old, but the blueprint, the genotype, is what builds a legacy that outlives you. In genetics, traits work in two main ways, dominant and recessive. Dominant traits are bold. They show themselves easily. A certain comb type, a specific feather color, a strong physical feature, all visible in just one generation. Recessive. Traits are different. They hide. You won't see them unless the right or wrong combination of genes comes together. They can sleep quietly in a bloodline for years, passed from bird to bird without showing their face until two carriers meet in a breeding pen, and then they wake. Without knowing the genotype, you could accidentally pair two carriers of the same unwanted trait. That's how speed turns to slowness, power to weakness, and game to quitting. All it takes is one wrong match, and the hidden flaw becomes visible, not in one chick, but in an entire generation. This is why experienced breeders study heredity like warriors study their opponents. They know the fight doesn't start in the pit. It starts in the breeding pen. Some breeders fall into the trap of chasing beauty. The perfect sheen of feather, the flawless stance, the textbook station. They breed for the bird that pleases the eye, but in doing so, they forget to protect the very traits that make. A game foul a warrior. Breeding for looks alone is like buying a knife for its shiny handle, without ever testing the sharpness of its blade. It might dazzle you in the light, but when it's time to cut, it fails you. A rooster can stand in. The cord like a statue, proud chest, bright hackles, combs standing tall, and yet falter the moment the real test begins. In the pit, beauty counts for nothing if the bird cannot break fast, cut deep, and keep fighting when the pressure mounts. Every time you prioritize surface beauty over proven performance, you chip away at what matters most, the cutting power. That ends a fight, the endurance that pushes through fatigue, and the gameness that refuses to quit no matter the odds. And these qualities, once they start to fade, they don't just weaken. They vanish. Here's the hard truth. Once speed, cutting, or gameness are bred out of a bloodline, they are almost impossible to get back. You can polish feathers, you can perfect stance, but you cannot easily restore the fighting heart of a lost line. Beauty might win you admiration on the court, but in the pit, only heart, skill, and proven blood win the fight. And those are born not from what you see, but from what's in the blood. Genotype isn't a guess. It's proven through disciplined, relentless selection. The best breeders in the world know this truth. A bird's worth is not written in its feathers, nor in the stories told about its ancestors. It's written in its performance, and proven over time. They don't settle for hearsay or good looks. They build evidence. They keep meticulous records. Every pairing, every hatch, every performance noted like chapters in a living book. But they go beyond paper. They put there lines to the test. They breed, they observe, they challenge their birds. They watch how they break on the jump, how they cut in the heat of battle, how they handle pressure when the fight isn't easy. They measure recovery, not just physical, but mental, because champions don't crumble after one hard hit. And when the results come in, they do the hardest part of all, they choose. They cull the ones that fail to deliver, no matter how beautiful or valuable they might seem. They keep only the ones that earn their place. Season after season, the cycle repeats. Lessons are learned. They discover which crosses unleash blinding speed, which breed true for deep power, and which combinations weaken both. They find matings that click, producing consistent results, and they never waste time repeating mistakes. This is the quiet, unseen work behind every great bloodline. Not luck. Not magic. Not showing beauty. 
just discipline, knowledge, and the courage to protect what works while letting go of what doesn't. Because in the end, a bloodline is only ass. Strong is the breeder's ability and willingness to guard it, improve it, and never let its standard fall. If you want your bloodline to remain strong for decades, even generations, you must think like a builder of legacies, not merely a keeper of birds. A true breeder doesn't just raise roosters. He builds a dynasty. Start with your foundation. Lines, the pillars upon which everything will stand. Know them as well as you know your own family. Learn their history, who bred them, why they were bred, and the battlegrounds where they proved their worth. Understand their strengths, the traits that make them dangerous opponents. And study their weaknesses, because a chain is only as strong as its weakest link. Breed for performance first. The way a bird fights, endures, and thinks in the pit will always outweigh feather shine, color patterns, or comb type. Appearance is the polish, performance is the steel, and in the pit, it is steel that wins battles, cull without hesitation. Yes, it's hard to let go of a bird you've raised, admired, and fed with your own hands. But sentiment is the enemy of progress. Weak traits, whether in cut, power, or heart, spread like weeds if allowed to breed. And one weak breeding season can undo years of work. In the breeder's creed, if it fails in heart, if it fails in cut, if it fails in endurance, it must go. Keep records like a general keeps warm maps. Pedigrees, fight results, successful crosses, and failed experiments. All written, preserved, and guarded. Because memory fades and stories change, but written history remains unshaken. And in breeding, history is your most powerful weapon because a true bloodline is not built in a single season. It is forged through years of deliberate selection, of crossing with purpose, of guarding your foundation like treasure. Every chick you hatch, every match you enter, every decision to breed or cull is another brick in the fortress of your legacy. Do it right and long after you're gone. Your birds will still fight with the same fire, the same cunning, the same heart, carrying your signature in every blow they strike. The breeder's golden rule is simple, yet it's the one most often ignored. Breed from proven performers, not just the best-looking birds in the yard. Feathers can be groomed. Combs can be trimmed. Stance can be polished. Yes, looks can always be improved later, but speed, cutting, and gameness. Once you lose them, you may spend years, even decades, trying to bring them back. And sometimes, they're gone forever. Every champion you've ever admired came from a breeder who valued performance above all else. They didn't gamble on beauty. They invested in results. Because a handsome loser? Still a loser. But an ugly champion. That's not just a bird. That's a breeder's gold mine. So the next time you choose a broodcock or brood hen, don't ask, does it look good? Ask, can it win? Has it proven itself where it matters most? Because, in the pit of truth, only results write bloodlines into history. In game foul breeding, phenotype catches the eye, but genotype wins the fight, not just once, but generation after generation. The colors you see, the station you admire, the feathers that shine under the sun, these are but the surface. Time will fade them, age will slow them, but what's written in the blood that endures. It is the blood that carries the heart, the cutting instinct, the will to stand when others fall. A fine-looking rooster may win admiration in the yard, but only a rooster with the right blood wins respect in the pit. So study your lines. Test them, not just in beauty, but in battle. Cull without fear. Breed without favoritism. Guard, with everything you have, the traits that make your foul great, because every chick you hatch is a decision for the future, and the bird you breed today will decide the battles you win tomorrow.